today we'll be happy with the results we get from the effort we put in. That's all I can ask for. Uh, today's adventure is 50 miles. Uh, just to be honest, I'm not really mentally there to do a 50, but I'll still be proud of a 50. Even if I have to walk the rest of the way, I can get 50. So, I know it's not a good way to start the run, but that's the reality. I'm gonna try to hit both of the Ultra Running Company stores today. Uh, the goal is to get, the goal is to do it under 12. Uh, at this moment, I'm at the five mile mark, and I knew that this hill had light, so I figured why not break out the camera and walk. Uh, at a 15 mile pace up the hill <clears throat> catch my breath do a little video so we're back to a flat it's time for me to keep moving excited over there is the first sign of uh, morning light oh man I am frozen I mean like I've been dreading to get the camera out of the bag because my hands are so cold I've got gloves but oh my gosh so I'm at mile 10 it's hard to see but way over there is where I'm running. Holy crap. <laughs> that is the Charlotte uh, skyline over there. So in an effort like this, I think it's more about what you bank in the first little portion than what you spend in the first little portion. I've had like two ridiculous close calls this morning. One, I was in the grass and literally they came and scrubbed their tire on the curb. I was like five feet away. The next one, a truck with a trailer, he just wasn't paying attention. He ran over the curb onto the grass. Well, that's Frank Lisk. And I'm at 15 just walked that hill so I figured I'd get my camera out I uh, was able to keep a good click back there crossing 29 on the Canapolis Parkway <laughs> 20 mile update in Harrisburg officially uh, I stopped at the McDonald's back there and got a sausage McGriddle now I know all of y'all are thinking, why in the world, when you're running, would you stop and get a sausage and make it a well? Ultra running is slightly different. You, for me, I eat about anything and everything I can get my hands on. Uh, so at this moment, I've had one tailwind uh, packet, uh, 200 calories. Uh, I've eaten the sausage and one McGriddle patty out of this and I'll save the other one for uh, probably two or three miles down the road. But my God, that McDonald's was the hottest McDonald's. That was bad. Only because I wanted to stay in there. It was like, it felt amazing. Back to running. No more updates for a while. 24 and a half in and um, uh, Muscles are a little tight. I mean, it, this is just what it is. Feeling good. I'm not feeling bad. So, you know, when you do a race, you come into an aid station, 
they cheer you up, shove you out with food, and you keep going. Solo is hard. You just got to be on it. You got to be mentally on it. And uh, I'm doing my best to be mentally, mentally strong. So this run, as a reminder, ain't no soft batch cookie. Nope, one tough cookie. I am not soft batch. So this peel, oh my God, that thing sucks so bad. Currently right now I'm walking at a 15 uh, pace up the hill. Just trying to keep going, trying not to spend too much energy. Oh my God, this thing never ends. But uh, I got a good friend who's coming to meet me in probably about five miles. So super excited about that, cannot wait. Bike, oh, highlight of the day already. 28 miles in, it's time for another snack. Uh, I'm fatigued, legs are doing a 15 minute uh, walk, 15 minute mile walk. I wasn't, I wasn't super comfortable with it. So it's, it's, a, it's stretching out my stride. I, I think I'll be fine, but I'm, I'm feeling fatigue where I shouldn't feel fatigue, honestly, because I'm just stretching farther than I usually would. There it is. Oh my God, way over there. Charlotte, the skyline. Fatigue is setting in. I'm just tired. Been moving for six hours. Should be, I guess, right? Exciting though, I only got 21 to go. I'm at uh, Sugar Creek and Tryon, and there's my friend Sean. He's gonna be running with me. Super excited about this. Not even lying. Oh man! Uh, I did. You want to keep running? Yeah. We'll keep moving. Oh man, so good to see you, dude. <laughs> mile 30 update. Uh, it's actually mile 31. <laughs> and a half but my good friend sean he was nice enough to come out now we're in noda just logging some miles i know you can't see it but over there is the city if you remember but back when i was in concord we could see the top of that building right there just there and i was like hey we're gonna run to that and uh, there it is, crazy, crazy. So update, mile 35, a little tight in my legs, definitely uh, not 100, but still able to, to move around a 12, uh, so. That's all I really could ask for right now. So my parents were nice enough to bring me power block because my uh, phone's dying. Bye guys. Oh, mile 36. Look who it is, huh? Here this you, guy. Here for you, oh guy. my gosh, dude. So, so very, I mean like, Sean and Junior coming out today, big deal, big deal. Hey. So. Always Junior is extremely fast, so uh, I am going to slow him down a lot, nope. and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, we're, we're taking it easy, we're taking it easy. That's what I like to hear. Well, made it to both ultra running companies. Uh, got to see Jonathan, Daniel, and Amy, and Nathan, it was really good. Uh, thank you so much, guys, I really appreciate it. But Junior is doing Outstanding, keeping me motivated, keeping the conversation going, it. distracting me, which is what I need. We got, uh, our gum, we got our pickles. We got our gum. I got pickles. Oh my gosh, I got a little banana. Good times. Currently, right now, doing a 950. Ridiculous. I don't even know what's going on, but I'll take it. So, having some fun with Junior. So, look who showed up, John 
and Kim, oh my gosh, like this is amazing. So uh, they come to give me some support and come to encourage me because I need it. And uh, Junior added another 10 to my, uh, yeah, it was an easy 10, like we got it in. Got it in. So uh, guys, thank you so much. 45 miles in, I uh, took a 30 minute uh, rest at Junior Ronnie's and uh, time to finish strong. Pro tip, if you're ever doing a run, just get gum. It changes everything, no lie. Currently right now I'm a 15.05 walk, so I'll take that all day long. I'm tired, I'm nowhere near what I thought I would be. Like, I thought I would barely be able to keep my eyes open. It's not the case, so. We'll walk it out. I'm... Well, this guy and his brother showed up for the last half mile, helped me finish uh, strong. This was a highlight of the day right here to be able to finish with my boys. It's a big deal, big deal. And I did it. That is 50.14 from my house to Lock Dock. Oh. That was a fun day. Uh, man, I really want to say thank you to uh, everyone that either commented, came and ran with me, called me. Um, this could not have been done with a few key people. Uh, one, my wife for allowing me. Uh, Brad Rooks for calling me every hour, checking where I was at. Tyler and Allison, both of y'all sending me love. Uh, Sean, gosh, man, you picking me up at mile 28 was a game changer. It's a big deal. I really do appreciate it, uh, Junior. Man, 36 and the conversation we had. Like, uh, I am uh, very thankful uh, for you to come run with me. Ronnie, for giving up your birthday to allow Junior to come run with me. Uh, it means so much to me. So, uh, sincerely to all of the people, the Gordons who came all the way from Concord just to come see me and then keep going. Um, Thank you so much. I could not have done it without all of y'all. And uh, I really truly mean that.